Well, good morning, everyone. My name is Stan Boney of WKBN 27 First News. We are going to uh, begin our program before we get to lunch. And before we do that, uh, we want to call on a couple of people to say just a few words for us this morning. Uh, they are some of the people that have helped to run this operation. Uh, first of all, I want to call on Georgianne Bonpain, who is the president of Easter Seals, and behind her will be Tim Nelson, who runs uh, Easter Seals of Mahoning, Trumbull, and Columbiana counties. Georgianne. Thank you. Again, my name is Georgianne Bonpain. I'm the president of Easter Seals. I would like to um, welcome you all to the 41st annual Easter Seals Fashion Show and Luncheon. We have a great afternoon planned. I'm happy to see that spring has finally arrived. A special thank you to our chairwomen of this event, Jerry Kosar and Joan Zarlanga, and their committees. Fashion director Judy Conti, the media models, and our special little Easter seal models. I'd like to thank Tim Nelson and his staff at the Easter Seal Center also. We appreciate our sponsors and the shops that have donated to this special event. On behalf of the Angels, I'd like to thank all of you for supporting our events. We would not be able to do this um, without the help that you provide for the services for the hundreds of children and adults with special needs. We could not do it without you. Have a wonderful time today, and thanks again. Now, I'd, thank you, thank you. Um, I'd like to introduce Tim Nelson, the CEO of Easter Seals, and he will give the invocation. Tim. Thank you, George Ann, and certainly thank you to all the angels. Uh, a lot of work goes into an event like this, and on behalf of the employees of Easter Seals, and more importantly, on behalf of the clients we serve, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Let's just bow our heads for a quick word of prayer, and then you can continue to enjoy your lunch. Uh, thank you to the uh, staff and Mr. Anthony for taking care of that. What we'd like to do next is I would like to introduce you to a couple of um, very special people, our ambassadors of the year. Um, and, but before I do that, I need to introduce you, introduce you to another individual. Um, I want to introduce you to a special young lady who also received services from Easter Seals, Lacey Wilt, which is right here. This is Lacey. She's a junior at East Liverpool High School. Lacey is hard of hearing and has been a client of Easter Seal since she was six months old when she was first referred to Young Sign Hearing and Speech. Since the age of six, Lacey's been a part of our Community Center for the Deaf. Over the years, Lacey's participated in our Summer Deaf Club, and she's also participated in our Shaker Woods fundraiser, and we've been able to send her to Camp OYO. Camp OYO is a deaf camp, uh, runs a couple weeks during the summer for deaf and hard of hearing individuals. Lacey enjoys music, reading, and movies. She's currently working at the Ponderosa Steakhouse, uh, and this is why she's here with me, because she's fluent in both English and American Sign Language. And so for the next part, Lacey is going to be doing some interpreting for me as I tell you a little bit more about some of the exciting programs going on here at Easter Seals. First thing I'd ask you to do, if you have a minute, is to turn to page five of your program book. There's a very brief listing in, on page five of all of our programs. Many people in our community think, well, we are just a place that takes care of children and provides pediatric and children's therapy services. While that's true, pediatric speech, PT, and OT are perhaps our most well-known services. You can see from this listing, we do a lot of other things as, as well. We have some young adults from our skill development program, which are actually seated back over here behind me, and they're learning some post-high school uh, skills and vocational type things. Uh, they're, they're, we have some of them here with us. Uh, we also, as you can see on page five, they have a full spectrum of services for older adults that are designed to help them remain independent and living in their homes. Our Community Center for the Deaf, which is what Lacey's been a part of, provides interpreting services, captioning services, which you see on the walls on each side. Uh, and we also provide a lot of advocacy work, 
support work and vocational programs for the deaf and hard of hearing. I'm also very excited to talk to you about our new logo. Uh, you may see on some of the signs around the room that we have a new logo for Easter Seals. This new logo is it's a much brighter logo. It's kind of a different twist on our very established name, and it a, it's a, helps to refine our brand and hopefully give us a voice in the community that we hope will further energize our longtime supporters like many of you and inspire a new generation of friends. We continue to look at what the needs in our community are because we want to strive to maximize the services and get them where they're mo most needed. We're always going to continue to provide services to people with disabilities to give them the best services, the best opportunities they could possibly capture in life while exploring and understanding the growing and unmet needs in our, in that, in our community. So what I wanted to do is talk to you a little bit about a program that we're hoping to introduce sometime late this year. Uh, in addition to our children's programs, Mahoning County is home to an aging population. Many people in this older population um, have no other options than to live at home with a spouse or a child or a relative who assumes a large duty of caring for them. Those that they live with may incur significant costs and challenges to care for their aging family members. Perhaps the most valuable thing, aside from the financial burden that they sacrifice, is time. Future plans, career advancement, and leisure activities are put off because they're caring for that older person in their home, attending the needs of their loved one. So what we're looking to do later on this year is provide some adult respite care. We already do a children's respite care, but adult respite care is a temporary arrangement for dependent adults, which is going to provide a brief period of relief or rest for their caregivers. Um, those acting as the primary caregivers are truly in need of, and they deserve some form of respite. Most caregivers can't do the job alone. It's literally impossible for them. The caregivers know their loved ones depend on them, and they don't know how to take a break sometimes. So as an extension of our current adult daycare program, we're going to be seeking to offer an evening and weekend program that will be a safe, comfortable place for adults to be cared for short term. So as we seek to start this new program, our goal is to serve both the older adult and their caregivers with the respite. We do it already for children, so this is a natural expansion for us. And we hope that they'll be able to spend a period of time with us from a couple of hours some evening to perhaps eventually overnight programs over the weekend for those adults, modeled just after our children's program. So again, before I introduce our two ambassadors, I just want to thank the Angels for their unbelievable support. I also want to thank Lacey for helping me communicate this here. Thank you, Lacey. Okay, so next what I'd like to do is to introduce you to two very special people, our ambassadors for the year. First over here, we have Mariana. Mariana is our child ambassador, and, and Georgianne is walking out there with her. Um, Mariana attends our physical therapy and occupational therapy programs. She also, for a couple years, attended our preschool program. Mariana is also someone who went through our summer suitability program, which is a short three-week intensive program where we work with people with children with disabilities to kind of give them a boost, to kind of push them along, to kind of get them over a, a hurdle or a hump that they may, that they may be on. Um, as you can see in the program here, Mariana is actually scheduled for her first major surgery in May. So Mariana's going to have some major surgery to help her legs. She has cerebral palsy, help with her legs and get her in shape. And then uh, after surgery, hopefully she'll be back with us for more therapy. Because oftentimes with these, it's two steps forward, three steps back. So we're, we look forward to working with, with uh, Mariana and her surgery. And to that end, Georgianne, I have, if you would like to give, uh, we have uh, the angels have provided a very nice little gift here. It's a heavy sucker, though, for, for Mariana. So we'll take that back and give that to your mom. But uh, let's give Mariana a hand, please. Okay. The other person I'd like to introduce you to is Brittany. Let's see if I can take this loose and roam with it a little bit. Uh, Brittany is in our physical therapy program. Uh, Brittany's bio and everything is on page seven. Brittany's been with us actually for a number of years. 
she's already gone through two surgeries to work through uh, her physical challenges and everything. And I will tell you, this young lady is truly an inspiration every time I see her come down the halls. Tuesday afternoon, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, I go upstairs and I see Brittany working so hard with Donnell, her therapist. And uh, I think Brittany, well, really all our clients, but someone like Brittany, she really epitomizes what we're here to do and the services that we provide. Um, and again, events like this help us to continue to provide services to people like Mariana, to Brittany, and many of the other clients that you're going to see uh, you're going to see following here. So, uh, again, if you would just give a hand uh, to Brittany, we appreciate all that she does for us. And again, the angels have a, have a little gift for her. All right. The next thing we're going to do, I believe, is actually we're going to we're going to pick some of the raffle numbers. Brittany, would you like to help me pick some of the raffle numbers? All right. Good. Uh, stay right here then for me, Brittany. Here, I'll, I'll just take your gift. Hey. People are, got, got our winners announced. Uh, some people walking away with some cash, some gift certificates, and now it's time for the fashion show. And for that, we're going to bring on the narrator for the first half of it, and that is Judy Conti. Thank you. Thank you, Stan. And how wonderful to be with you, ladies. I heard there was a beautiful garden party, so I decided to dress for it. Thank you. From Dillard's Southern Park Mall. Beautiful clothes. Wait till you see the rest of the show that we have prepared for you. It's wonderful to be here with you each year and um, celebrate the spring season and how many of you have been to Mill Creek Park yet to see the daffodils and the tulips? Or maybe you have your own tulips and daffodils out there. I'm sure you do with this. And the weather is um, cooperating with us today for our beautiful garden party. So it's time to put away our winter jackets, the boots, our jeans, and put on our sandals, our sleeveless tops, and what better way to start our show than with Suzanne's, because you'll want to pop in and visit Suzanne at Presidential Square on 224. Suzanne is celebrating spring in a big way with the season's latest trends. Floral garden prints, black and white checks, sparkling jewelry. Suzanne has a great selection of American-made clothing by Comfy USA, Bailey 44, Youngstown's own Nanette Lepore, which you will see in our show. And then accessorize it all with Mary Frances beaded handbags and Bernie Mev shoes. Again, Suzanne is located in the Presidential Square on 224 in Boardman. She has an exclusive array of, for, of fashion, jewelry, and accessories. Be sure to check the bookmark in your program for a special offer, but you don't want to scratch it off till you get there and be surprised at the wonderful gift you'll receive. So stop in, Suzanne. She's there seven days a week. So ladies, let's begin our show since we know at this garden party, everything's coming up roses at Suzanne's.
so much. So you want to hang on to that little uh, tag that you have in the program and get down to Suzanne's and um, try on all the beautiful clothes that she has in store for you. You know, we are so excited about Chico's, just a few doors down from Suzanne's in the Presidential Square. And everything, as soon as you stop in, step in that door, you will be blown away by the bold and bright fashions that they have that prepare you for a perfect spring and summer. Chico says, this summer, there's only one thing brighter than the sun, and that should be you. So she's going to help us do that. That's because you will be wearing your prints proudly, and you will dial up all the color and dress in your outside voice. You'll be fun, you'll be fabulous and fearless. So we're going to let our hair down, have a ball and command the sun and the sand as you travel. With the styles from Chico, you'll bring the party to every occasion. And don't forget, you wear the pants. So you will follow the simple rule, which if they feel great, and choose your bright colors or a fun print, a fit with all the right moves will make you sure that they're a part of your summer collection. And don't forget the little rule, when you wear those skinny pants, you need a longer top that will cover that dirty air. It's different when you come right from the gym with your little sweats on. But if you're dressing for a special occasion or even running out to the supermarket, you'll want to just put on your lipstick, throw on a pair of sunglasses and a long top. You know, I always say, what? You wouldn't want to run into an old boyfriend if, you, if he thought you were cleaning the garage and you just had to run out. So you want to look your best. You know, I have... Um, a beautiful aunt, my cousin Phyllis is here today, but beautiful aunt Phil passed away a month ago, and two weeks ago she would have been 103. A beautiful woman, always in her pretty tops, always had the hair done, always, never went without her lipstick, never, 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 so that wherever she was, she, it's a good rule for all of us to remember as well. So, what's the latest fashion tips from Deanna at Chico's and her sidekick, Annette, who are there to help you and just bring out the best in your body figure? Pants, either cropped or ankle, and long, again, the long tops over the lean pants. She says, all one color will make you look slimmer but don't forget to add the pop of color, whether it's your shoes, jewelry, or your handbag. And you know, maxis are back. The long, summer, flowy sundresses are long. And just a few weeks ago, I just cut mine and made them short sundresses. But now we have a reason to go shopping again and get, go back to those long evening maxis. White and more white, white on white, tops and bottoms. And of course, denim. Is denim ever out? Never. Denim pieces, your jacket, your skirt, or the full dress. And you can mix the denims, the, the, the light denim with the dark denim. That works just as well. Three pieces are always better. And sometimes even in the air condition, we need that extra wrap or the jeans jacket over our long sundress, or even your jewelry could be your, your third piece. So we'll see if we're ready to go off to, or we are ready to go off to Chico's. So we are ready for that grand party, luncheon, your cruise, your weekend out of town, wherever you are, go bold, go beautiful, have fun because it's your party.
every day. Well, that's some party, isn't it? I think we want to go to that party right after we leave here. Beautiful. Thank you, Chicos. We're going to um, change our little pace just a little bit here. You know, sometimes do you feel that, oh, yeah, it looks great on them, but how would it look on me? You know, do you admire that style in fashions? And you wonder, oh, I could never wear that. But yes, you can. It's all about the fit. It's all about what looks good on you. If it looks good on them, it's going to look good on you as well. So don't hold back thinking it's not your style. Styles out there, it's ageless. It's timeless. No matter where we are in our travels, in our road to life, the style is for you to make you look better. If you have to go up a size or wear the Spanx or whatever you need or the, a proper fitting undergarment to keep our bodies looking the way it used to, just pull them up a little bit, okay? You can wear it. You can do it. Just, you know, so you have the proper fit. And these women from Suzanne's and the girls, Deanna and Annette, were, and um, the women from Dillard's, they're there to help you and to serve you and make you look better and feel your best at all times. So with the arrival of the spring fashions, it comes to us with spellbinding accessories, tip-to-toe sequins, pom-pom fringe, colors, prints, and flowers galore. And you can min mix your prints as well. But we're talking about a lot about making you look good. Remember, even it's your posture. It's your posture, how you present yourself. Shoulders up, tummy in, and look the world straight in the eye, and you'll be ready for um, anything. Well, we're going to go over to our fabulous evening wear, that long-awaited special event that you've been planning, a wedding, anniversary, cruises, banquets, and balls. Dillers has the perfect and fabulous dress waiting for you, charming and romantic. Yes, Dillers at Southern Park Mall will solve your dilemma of what to choose, or they'll help you choose from a huge collection. We had a wonderful time trying on the different gowns. As one of the girls said, Miss Judy, you should wear this one, and where else am I going to wear it but for you this afternoon, or maybe uh, to a garden party in Savannah, Georgia, maybe, or something, what would be a great idea. So the beaded sequin lace chiffon ruffles in bold statement colors or soft pastels, you will always look fabulous, of course, in black. So let's see if our ladies are ready. Mary? Okay. Almost ready. You know, it does take us a little bit longer when we're putting on the evening wear. You have to have the right earrings, the right shoes, the right handbag, which one. So we want to make sure that we have the exact right ex accessories to go along with our outfit. So we want to remember for that special occasion to look in the mirror front and back. And if it's pleasing to you, it will be pleasing to everyone that's seeing you. Let's see if our girls are ready. 
Miss Mary backstage? All right, not quite. So I'll give you another little tip, okay? Especially for the younger girls, you uh, women that have um, daughters and granddaughters that are going to prom, you want to make sure they know how to stand when they're going to be taking their picture. You don't want them to stand with just their legs straight out like this, okay? Tell them put their feet together and then step back. And I don't know if you could see, point that toe to the camera. You want to stand and point your toe to the camera so they're not standing with their legs straight down. Can you see okay? <laughs> I have oodles and oodles of clothes here, but I want you to be able to see the proper stand where the toe points to the camera, either this one or this one. Okay, and my new shoes, you can see those as well, right? So, okay. <laughs> okay, ladies, we are ready to visit Dillard's Southern Park Mall and see their beautiful display of cocktail and evening dresses. Ready, girls? Stepping out in our top hat. Here we go.
And thank you so much, Dillard, Suzanne's, and Chico's. But there's more to come. This is just the beginning of this wonderful uh, luncheon we have for you. So I'm going to bring Leslie Barrett out here, and she would be introducing uh, the rest of the show with our children that we've been waiting to see. Leslie Barrett is our evening news anchor with WFMJ. And we see her every evening at 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. Let's welcome Leslie. Thank you. Thank you, Judy. She's an icon in the dance industry here in the Valley, so we're really happy to have her. Thank you, Judy. Well, before I get started, I'd really like to have a couple special thank yous. Phyllis Cafaro has donated the little girls' outfits, their whimsical dresses. They're beautiful. So they get to take those home with them today. And Phyllis Bacon donated the little girls' and teens' outfits from Macy's, as well as the boys' outfits. So how about a round of applause for them? I know they're excited to be able to take these outfits home, so just wait till you see them. First, I'd like to introduce WFMJ Weekend Today anchors, Lindsay McCoy and Steve Vesey. They are modeling with Marcus today. We're gonna welcome them to the stage. Now, Lindsay is wearing a beautiful taupe ruffle sleeve dress above the knee length, paired with a three-layer, two-toned oval length necklace by Very J from Coral Rose Boutique at the Eastwood Mall. 
And Lindsay is a stunning mom-to-be. We're really excited for her. And she loves this outfit because it's great for the baby bump. So they have a lot of nice options at Coral Rose Boutique. And Lindsay's expecting a girl. She's due at the end of August. Steve is ready for a golf outing. He's wearing Greg Norman Tasso Elba, made exclusively for Macy's. It's a performance rapid dry short, short and fairway plaid and a Tasso Elba woven button front shirt in rich navy. A great outfit for the man in your life. Great summertime outfit. He's ready to go golfing. And Marcus is adorable. He's three and a half. He was dancing backstage. He has great moves, just a bundle of energy and joy. He's wearing a two-piece shirt set by Kids Headquarters from Macy's, and he's ready for baseball. It's baseball season. How about a round of applause for them? Great job. All these outfits have me thinking spring. I don't know about you guys. Next up, WFMJ anchors Derek Steyer and Caroline Collins with Journey. And Journey is quite the dancer. She's just done a wonderful job backstage too, dancing and, and her beautiful whimsical outfit from Captain McFinn Gift Shop. She's four years old and she loves to dance and play dress up. She especially loves Elena of Avalor, you know, that princess. Derek is wearing Polo by Ralph Lauren, a classic flat front pant in tiki green, and short sleeve button front classic white shirt from Macy's. I love the color combination. It's a little bit different with those, the color of those pants. Caroline is wearing a gorgeous vintage inspired dress. Reminds you of the 20s and the flapper girls with beaded fringe from Bailey 44 from Suzanne's. So maybe if you have a wedding to go to this summer, it'd be perfect for it. <laughs> Fabulous job. Those princess dresses are just gorgeous. Next up, I'm really excited to introduce Vince Slomsky and Krista Lamandola, our 21 WFMJ Today anchors. And Vince is from the Akron area. We're excited to have him with us. So tune in weekday mornings to catch them on the set. Vince is wearing Polo by Ralph Lauren, stretch straight classic pants in blue, with a long sleeve classic pink plaid button front shirt, and white v-neck tee from Macy's. Tamia is five years old. She's wearing a whimsical outfit from Captain McFinn Gift Shop. How about those wings too? They're adorable. Krista is wearing a white lace scoop neck top with a white woven shirt with a slit and sheer overlay by Made in Italy from Coral Rose Boutique at the Eastwood Mall. And if you haven't been there at the Captain McFinn shop, they have this boutique in the back where you can find some clothes for yourself. Mackenzie is wearing a whimsical outfit from Captain McFinn as well, and she is five years old. They look like lovely princesses. What beautiful twirls, great job. And the bows in their hair too, just gorgeous. And they're getting to take home their ballet slippers too. So I think they're gonna have a lot of fun at home in these outfits and ballet slippers. Next up, we have from The Vindicator, Nina Perkins, the community events manager there, and Janie Hassey, who's the major accounts manager, along with Makai. 
And Nina is in, is in a beautiful colored suit. It's suiting separates by Casper. A sheath dress with slits detailing the neckline and coordinated cropped three-quarter length sleeve jacket in the season's hottest color, Valencia from Macy's. And she looks fabulous in it. It just looks like spring. <laughs> and a really nice gold necklace too to accent it. Janie is wearing an INC cropped pant in deep black, and notice the ruffle detailing on the bottom, and an INC cold shoulder top with lace detailing from Macy's. It's nice, it's something you could wear really anytime for all different kinds of events, very versatile. Makai is wearing a matching short set from Kids Headquarters from Macy's. They have a great children's section too to go check out. And he's really dancing to the music. Way to go, thank you. I'm excited to introduce this next duo. You know them on the radio. And it's always fun to see people you hear on the radio in person. AC McCullough and Kelly Stevens. Uh, sometimes you're like, I wonder what these people look like when you hear them and don't see them. So I've been watching them since I was in high school. 30 years almost that they have been together. 30 years. So it's great. I think they're one of the longest running duos together on the radio. From Hot 101. And they're modeling with Hunter, who's been a star of this show for years. Hunter is 16 already. Can you believe it? He went to prom this year. He goes to the Summit Academy. And he's really into martial arts. He was telling me all about that earlier. Hunter's wearing Tommy Hilfiger flex shorts in white and gray Norman Tasso Elba performance tee in real cobalt from Macy's. AC is wearing flat front dockers in black and a performance polo by Tasso Elba in light pool blue from Macy's. Kelly Stevens is in white crop pants and a blue and white poncho, completing her outfit with turquoise and blue jewelry from Chico's. They all match wonderfully. <laughs> yes. That's great. Good job, that's awesome. He's been doing so well. At this time, and also I'm wearing Dillard's too. They picked out a really lovely dress. So if you're going to a wedding too, it's something else to look for. I'd like to introduce Mandy Knoll, the evening anchor from WKVN. She's gonna take over now. Thank you. Hi everyone. Thanks for everyone being here. So we are gonna start with our crew right now. We are gonna introduce Christina Mullen in a beautiful dress. She is modeling with Jamari and Zanaya. Remember that twirl we talked about, guys? <laughs> All right, Christina is wearing a mint off one shoulder floral dress with three beautiful flowy ruffles at the top of the dress by Loverish from Coral Rose Boutique at Eastwood Mall. Jamari is wearing a short set by Kids Headquarters from Macy's. And just take a look on the front. He's got the trucks and the power equipment. <laughs> Doing the twirls. Look at our little flower girl. She is a perfect picture of spring. Zanaya is wearing a whimsical outfit from Captain McFinn Gift Shop. And look at those shoes. Those are perfect ballet flats. <laughs> All right, you guys are really working it down there. <laughs> Keep the twirls coming. Yes, send them off with a wave. Okay, and next up. We have Alex George and Chelsea Spears coming out together. 
We got a little traffic jam. <laughs> and they are with Mediana and Zaya. Alex is wearing a flower two-piece dress by Antonio Milani from Dillard's. <laughs> Rocking the runway here. Mediana is our Easter Seals 2018 child representative. She's wearing a dress that is suitable for any princess. She is in the white dress there. She looks like a little flower girl. <laughs> so that is by Rare Editions. It's from Macy's. It is in white, and she's got pear accents at the waist. Chelsea Spears is wearing a floral jumpsuit by Antonio Milani with earrings and a bracelet from Dillard's. Josiah is wearing a beautiful, colorful, whimsical outfit from Captain McFinn Gift Shop. These girls have been practicing their twirls backstage too. <laughs> oh, and they're hopping and just general dance moves. Let's give them a, let's give them a round of applause. And for our grand finale, we've got my partner in crime, Stan Boney modeling with Bianca. They always close out the show. I can't remember when you were there When I didn't care For anyone Stan is but my co-anchor for WKBN News. In the I evenings, he's wearing Greg Norman Tasso Elba Essential Pants is. in navy and a Tasso Elba Island Silk Blend woven Button front shirt, short sleeve shirt from Macy's. This beautiful lady, Bianca, has modeled in the Angels of Easter Seals fashion show for 25 consecutive years. And her and Stan have been partners every single one of those years. She is wearing Tinseltown denim, couture denim skirt with pearl embellishments and a pink and white plaid top with bow accents on sleeves and lace trim from Macy's. Bianca was Easter Seals child representative in 1995 and attended the Child Development Center from 1993 to 1997, receiving physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Bianca was a member of Easter Seals Teen Club, which provides peer group support to teenagers in our community. And she now attends Easter Seals Skill Development Center. And she is beautiful. I do really quickly want to mention what I'm wearing just because the beautiful ladies uh, from Suzanne's put it together for me. It's a Bailey 44 and I got it from Suzanne's and these earrings are from there as well. Now we have the grand finale. Everybody come on out.
All right, before we go home, uh, we would like to hear a couple of words here from the uh, co-chair people, the two people that put this event on for us here this afternoon, uh, Joan Zarlinga and Jerry Kozar. Give them a big round of applause. Thank you, everyone, for coming and supporting our 41st annual fashion show. Uh, we want to thank Stan. He has always said yes to us when we ask him to come and be our MC. And we have a little gift for you. Oh. <laughs> and we're Judy Conti. Judy, thank you so much from all of our angels. We appreciate everything you do for us. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone. See you next year.